Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up and run Java in VS Code on Windows 10. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, before we run any code related to Java programming language, we have to download and install Java into our Windows 10. So for that purpose, I will just write here, download JDK and after that hit enter. Click on the first link and it is from the official website of Oracle. It will take you to this page. Scroll down and go to your Windows section. Again, scroll down and download the file as per your liking. I'll go with the x64 installer. I will just click on this file. I have already downloaded this file. So here I have my JDK and I have downloaded the latest version and the latest version is JDK 18. In order to install this one, just double click on it. It is gathering all the information and it will start the installation process in no time. So here it says preparing to install. Just click on next and this is the directory where it is going to get installed. In case if you want to change it, you can do so. So I'll just click on next and the installation process will begin. So here you see, here it says Java SE development kit successfully installed. So I'll just close this one. Now, in order to confirm if it got installed or not, I'll just go to my CMD. So I'll just press my Windows key and I'll write here CMD and I'll just open it. I will write here Java space hyphen hyphen version and I will hit enter. So here if you see here it says Java 18.0.1.1 and this is the version that has been installed into my system. Now let's check Java C if it is installed or not. Command is same you just need to add C at the end of Java space hyphen hyphen version hit enter. So here you see here we have 18.0.1 version. I'll just close this one and now let's head to our Visual Studio code. I'm sure you must have installed into your system and that is why I'm not going to show that how you can install Visual Studio Code. So I'll just open my Visual Studio Code now. Now let's create a new folder or workspace. For that purpose click on file and click on add folder to workspace. Now you can go to any directory wherever you want to create your files. I'll go to my desktop and I'll click on the new folder. I'll name it as Java and I will hit enter. So we have successfully created our workspace and now I'll click on add. So here it says, do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? Do not worry, click on yes. So here we have our workspace. Now click on this icon that says new file and I will name it as skills build dot Java. Make sure you enter .java at the end of your file name because .java is the extension for all the programming files that are related to Java. So now I'll just hit on enter. We have successfully created our skills build .java file. Here if you see here it says, do you want to install recommended extensions for Java? So how clever is Visual Studio Code? It already knows that we have a new file and it has the extension of Java and in order to run that particular file, we have to add some extensions. So in that case, just click on install and I'll show you another way as well. Now here it says extension pack for Java and here it is installing it on its own. It will take a very little time, depends on the internet speed. These are the things that you will get with extension pack for Java. We have IntelliCode, we have language support for Java. If you scroll down, we have debugger as well. So keep scrolling down and we have a framework of Maven that is available for Java in here as well. In case if your Visual Studio code doesn't recognize the Java file and doesn't pop up the message to install some extension, you can do so by another way. Click on this extensions section and after that you can write here whatever you want. I'll wait for it so that it can complete the installation and then I'll show you. We are done with the installation. Now I'll show you the other way. Just click on the search bar and now right here Java extension space pack. So here we have extension pack for Java 
and we have already downloaded it other than that we have another one in here if you want to install it you can do so i'll just click on it and it will have all the other components that might be missing in this one but this one is from the microsoft that is why there are very less chances that will miss anything in here so we'll wait for it and then i'll show you that how you can write a first program into your java programming language into your visual studio code and how you can run that one we are done with this installation as well now i'll close this section and i'll go to my skills build dot java file here it is now let's write some code first of all i will import a library so i'll write here import space java dot util dot scanner hit enter and again hit enter and come down now i'll call my file so i'll write here class space skills build and after that i'll have my curly braces i will hit enter now i'll call my main program so for that purpose i'll write here public static void main and in that i'll write here string space args args stands for arguments after that i'll have my brackets now let's print a message so that we can see if the program works or not so i'll write here system dot out dot print ln print ln mean print next line after that we'll have our string whatever we want to print so i will write here welcome to first java program and i'll have my semicolon at the end i'll save my file and now let's try to run our program so for that purpose just click on this run code button and our program will run so here it says welcome to first java program let me minimize this one so here you can see the output now let's make a program in which we'll ask the user to enter some inputs so for that purpose i'll remove this line and i will add another one so i'll write here scanner space input equals new scanner and in my brackets i'll write here system dot in at the end i'll have my semicolon and now we are good to go now let's ask the user to enter some input so for that purpose i'll write here system dot out dot print ln and in that i'll ask the user to enter his first name enter your first name after that i'll have my semicolon i'll write here string space variable name my variable will be first name that will be equal to input dot next and then i'll have my brackets semicolon now we are done with the first message for the second message or for second input i will just copy these two lines and i will just paste them again now here i'll change the message and i will write here second then for my variable i'll call it as second name and now at the end we just need to print the output that we'll get from the user so for that purpose i'll write here system dot out dot print ln and in my message i'll write here your full name is after that i'll have my space i'll call my first variable which is first name after that i'll have my string for a space and then i'll call my second variable but before that make sure to add the plus sign it will concatenate both of your variables so i'll write here second name now here we also have to add the plus sign at the end we have to add our semicolon and here as well we have to add our plus sign but before we go ahead make sure to enter capital s for your print statement now i will save my file and now let's try to run our program and here it says enter your first name if i try to enter anything in here it will not allow me to enter anything because for that purpose we have to do one more thing in here and that is go to your file section 
go to your preferences go to your settings and now right in here run in terminal and if you scroll down here you will see a thing that will say code runner run in terminal enable this option and now just close this settings window now we need to relaunch our visual studio code so i'll just close this one and i'll get back to you so we are back now let's run our program and let's see if it allows us to enter the input from the user so here it says enter your first name so i'll write here zubair and here you can see it is allowing us to enter the input hit enter and enter your second name i'll write here aslam and i will hit enter so here we have output as your full name is zubair aslam so this is how you can have a program in which you can take the input from the user in your java programs and that also brings us to the end of today's video. I hope now that you must have learned a very effective way that you can follow to install and run Java code into your Visual Studio code on Windows 10. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.